Good morning, Solar Wheelers. It is Monday, September 28th, and I have just gotten a brand new solar wheel, as you can see. And with all new solar wheels, I always want to test how far I can ride before the battery dies. So for this test, uh, I weigh 160 pounds. The wheel weighs about 27 pounds. If you're wondering where I got this strap, it's made by Think Tank Photo. It's a shoulder strap harness uh, 2.0. It only costs 35 bucks, and then all you need are some binder clips. Buy some extra large binder clips from like an Office Max. Remove the actual plastic binders, and you have these two little loops. And all you gotta do is just uh, put the carabiner uh, right through the little loops in the clip. So I'm now gonna take this to a track where I'm just gonna ride in a circle until the thing dies. All right, so I'm here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. As you can see by my phone, oh, gotta unlock it. So as you can see by my phone, it is 12:26 p.m. Monday, September 28th. The temperature is 71 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little humid in the air, with a wind from the south at about eight miles an hour. We have our new solo wheel with the new Sony battery, which Shane Chen, the inventor, says will give you an extended range of. An estimated 16 miles. But 16 miles, that involves starting and stopping because you have regenerative braking built into the wheel. But that depends on your weight and what your, your riding situation is. I am 5'8", 160 pounds. I'm going to ride this wheel as fast as I can without ever stopping, doing constant laps until I'm bored until the wheel dies. And hopefully, that'll tell us uh, the bare minimum this wheel can go. That way you know you're never stranded if you know the shortest distance it can travel. As always, I'm going to use my app called Endomondo by Under Armour to measure my distance and my speed. So, time to fire up the wheel. Okay, wheel is now functional. Again, I weigh 160 pounds with all my uh, stuff. So, here we go, starting. I'm just gonna ride this thing until it dies out. Uh, the original solar wheel is supposed to do about 10 miles an hour because I signed a waiver. The wonderful people at Solar Wheel have unlocked the top speed of this wheel to do about 15 miles an hour. Right now, uh, I'm going at about about 13 miles an hour right now. This is pretty comfortable for me. If I go at 15, I'm afraid this is just going to wobble around. So right now, I'm just going to stay at about 13 miles an hour. And we're just going to keep going round and round and round until the thing dies out. I'll check back in a bit. Alright, let's see. I'm about... This is my one mile pace. Four minutes and 39 seconds. First mile done, many, many miles to go. All right, I just cleared three miles. My average pace is about four minutes and 36 seconds per mile. Average speed is about 13 miles an hour. My feet are starting to feel a little numb, but let's just get it out. All right, I'm starting to approach six miles into the ride. And getting close, getting close. Six miles in. My feet are going numb as we speak. So far, so good. Hopefully this is not the halfway mark because I am getting really bored. 
All right, I'm at about 6.4 miles. Uh, maybe it's mental, but I'm feeling this thing slow down just a little bit after about six and a half miles as we're approaching the six and a half mile mark. Uh, Again, uh, this battery is supposed to be a 16 mile battery, but that is with real world riding situations, which means that every time you stop, there's regenerative braking that slows down the vehicle. Since I'm not stopping and I'm going non-stop, this unicycle doesn't have a chance to recharge its battery at any time. And the light is definitely red, so I'm just waiting to see what time this thing dies. But yep, 10 miles in, still going strong. Waiting for this thing to die, and it just does not want to die. So, 10 mile mark. <sighs> Aha, there we go. It's about to die, finally. 11.22, holding steady. Holding steady. This is about to die right about now. There. Whew. There you have it. 11.24 miles from a single charge. It's not exactly 16 miles as promised, but 16 miles is under real world situations with starting and stopping. This was uh, constantly going on a flat surface until the vehicle died. So 11.24 miles constantly going is pretty good. I am impressed. I cannot feel my feet. Thank you for watching and tune in next time.